oh my gosh, there's so much to do and I have so many resolutions and I, I want to get this done and I want to be better there and um, oh, I can't start because none of it's in place and none of it's perfect. And other stories that we tell ourselves for why we don't start. Start. That's the thing. You want to get from here to there. You want to get from here to there. How are you going to do it? You don't trap yourself in an imaginary place of perfectionism. That's false. That's like, <coughs> I can't do anything until it's perfect. Think about that, right? Think about absolutely anything you have done today. Was it absolutely perfect? Think about the way you parked your car. Think about the uh, think about the breakfast you made for yourself or didn't. Was that perfect? Right? So your perfectionism stories, they're BS. They're just false things that you continue to tell yourself. Stop it. Stop it. Right? It's like um, the, the way that we spin these tales for ourselves of... I can't start because it's not right, it's not perfect, nothing's in order, it's not, I'm not at the right place, I don't have enough. Uh, how do you get enough until you start? How do you have what it takes until you actually begin, right? And so uh, perfectionism is not what stops people. What stops people from actually setting out on their course and their journey and their adventure is the fear of separation, the fear of ostracism, of being put aside, of being judged so badly that nobody, if I do something and it's not good enough, I'm going to be separated from people that care about me or the people I care about, right? <coughs> Adolescents are uh, an amazing group to watch because they struggle so hard to be individuals at the same time. The necessity of fitting in is, is what creates this new model or mode uh, and it creates new clicks, it creates new fads and it's, it's um, just watching adolescents a as a group can teach us a whole lot right? Because darn it, well, I'm an individual. And at the same time, there is that struggle to fit in and to be accepted. Well, here you are. Here you are, right? And you are working on you. You're working on being accepted in the world. So let me see who joined us. <laughs> Connie, so glad you're here. Awesome. So the whole idea of, of perfectionism and n just not doing it, not setting out because it's not perfect, you're here because you want to be accepted. You're in that space. That's the mindset of, I can't do it because. It's about the fear of rejection. And so what happens if you stand up and what happens if you make your statement and you produce your thing, whatever that is, whether it's writing or photography or a cake or a speech. And what happens if it's not perfect? Do people judge you? Maybe. Do you become less of a human? And that's the thing you need to figure out, right? Are you less of a person because it wasn't perfect for someone else, right? I started by asking the question of, think about how did you park? How, what did you make for breakfast? Was it perfect? Was it perfect? The last phone call you had, was it perfect? This video, is it perfect? No, the lighting's off. Oh my gosh, so I can't do this? I have stuff on my face. Oh my gosh, so I can't do this? Uh, <laughs> no, that actually makes me more me, right? It's like, um, how would you like it if I came in and I was fully in my suit and I had only the broadcaster's voice 
and I could only talk to you this way. And then I would adjust the lighting so it's exactly right. That'd be horrible. I'd be horrible, right? There's no relationship. And that's the piece that people miss. So if you haven't taken the steps to get yourself better, if you haven't taken the steps to uh, set out on the goals that you set for yourself, we're, we're still in the new year. We're still in the new year. So what did you say you were going to do? Pay attention to your food. Did you? Okay. No, not perfectly. Ta-da. Good. What does today hold for you? The opportunity to pay attention to your food. Uh, what about exercise? Did you? No, not perfectly. Good. What does tonight hold for you? The opportunity to set out your clothes for exercising in the morning. Ta-da. Do that. What does, uh, what does the rest of the week hold? You know, it's like, what did you say you were going to do? And what small step win can you do for yourself that will get you closer to that goal? Because there's no way you can be perfect now and expect to be at the goal, right? It's like, it's like the goal is your perfection place. And when you get there, guess what? It's not going to be everything you wanted. It's just not. Who's, who else joined me tonight? Hey, John, that's awesome. So, so think about that. Like, think about what did you set out to do? And if you didn't do it, um, you know, why? Right? The, uh, wow, John, I'm so glad you're here because the, the idea of magic is, um, it is a great place to talk about perfectionism, right? We, as magicians, we would, we would practice and practice and practice and practice before bringing it out. But that practice always had a lot of flaws in it. There were a lot of fumbles. There would be a lot of uh, everything from uh, balls to cards to all kinds of stuff on the ground. Now, practice is about perfecting, right? Refinement. It's about refinement. I'm not saying show up and do your thing when you need to have um, have it a little more polished. But I'm also saying don't let yourself be trapped by the fact or the thought that it has to be perfect before I even do it. I've actually, I know a lot of magicians that, um, that won't play with cards or coins because it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right because it doesn't feel right until it starts to feel right, right? So, um, you know, in the martial arts, uh, a technique, a move, a weapon doesn't feel right until it feels right. It becomes a part of you. In ballet, as another art, I'm absolutely certain, and I don't do ballet, that said, I'm absolutely certain that the... That the uh, the practitioners of that particular art aren't comfortable with it for many, many years. But guess what? It's not about perfection that stops them. It's about perfection that propels them. It's refinement. And so the story that we tell ourselves about perfection, I can't do it because I'm not good at it. I'm not perfect at it, is the exact story for why you should do it, why you need to do it. Let me see what you got. Practice doesn't make perfect. Per perfect practice makes perfect. That's absolutely right. The <laughs> that's absolutely right. Let me just read this. The problem is practice by its nature isn't perfect. That's exactly right. The whole point is practice provides the opportunity for refinement. And I don't know of any performer that's done a perfect, perfect show. Most performers, you know what they do? They go off the stage and they go, how, how was that? Was it okay? Was it okay? Uh, because, <laughs> you know, those that go off the stage and they, and they go, yeah, I got this, I, I rocked it, I crushed it. Uh, they're the ones that actually probably blew it somewhere along the way, right? Because they missed it. They missed the opportunity to engage. 
So recognize this. Perfectionism is a mindset that is slowing you down. Refinement has to be the mindset. Perfectionism must be the mindset that propels you. Knowing that until you put something out there, you can't perfect it. You can't, you can't refine it. So get it out there. What is it? Right? New Year's resolutions. Back to that. Is it your food? Cool. Are you on track? Good. Are you on track? No. Refine it. Um, <laughs> exercise. Are you on track? Good. And no. Okay. Refine it. Uh, spiritual connection. Are you on track? Good. If not, no. Refine it. Um, and even those, uh, right? And I could go financial. I could go social. I could go relationship. Are you on track? If so, good. If not, refine it. But guess what? Even the places where it's good, that was yesterday. Don't keep it static. It must be good again. It must be better than yesterday. So, right, this is the, the notion of perfection is an ongoing process. In, uh, in my book, Choosing Your Power, I actually have, a, I have it actually at my feet. So in my, in my book, Choosing Your Power, which is showing up backwards, um, I, I talk about the notion of the perfect flaw. And that is, as humans, we are perfect. We have perfection. And it's only because we have flaws that we are perfect. Right? Who, like, define perfect. Because your definition of perfect is different than my definition of perfect. Is different than someone else's definition of perfect. And so the struggle to fit in, if I don't produce this, if I don't do it just right, if I don't show up just in the right way, someone's going to judge me and push me aside and ostracize me, make me an outcast. I'm no longer part of this group. That's bad thinking. It's faulty. Um, you know, one of the tools I have is reset, reset, right? So you say that and just like ch change your mindset right now. Because it's not about ostracism or being pushed away. <laughs> hey, Kathy just joined too, so that's great. Good. Um, so really, and I'm about to wind it up, right? I'm, a, I'm at the point of saying, look, this is, this is what you've got. Perfectionism, perfectionism is one of the BS stories we tell ourselves, right? I tripped over the word perfectionism just a second ago. And if this were to be perfect, I should cut it and redo the whole thing and not let it upload. It's human, right? We have flaws, and that's part of what makes us human, and that's part of what makes us perfect. Can it be better? Yes. By whose standard? And who's judging you in or out? And it's likely you, right? So start there. Be a little kinder with yourself. Know that everything you do is a form of practice and refinement and getting better and getting better and getting better, right? So um, just know that, that uh, as a human, you're already perfect. And that uh, can you be better? Absolutely. And that's part of perfection is getting yourself better, okay? So when I sign off, I have my saying, right? And... That's part of it too. So what I tell you, and I'll say, it, I'll say it a couple of times, right? One of the things that I say is keep making your magic. And that's something only you can do, right? Only you can do that. So, um, so, so be you, really. Uh, <laughs> thanks, John. <laughs> John says I'm a pretty smart guy. Thank you. All right, you guys. So uh, that's great. That's really great. So that's the thing, you guys, is, um, look, be you. Be you in process. Be you at your best, right? How do you live into your best self every day? Because I can't be in your best self, right? I could be my best self, and I know what I'm pushing myself towards, and I know what I'm struggling with, and you know what you're struggling with. 
So can you be a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better in each of those areas every day? And that takes planning. Don't make it accidental, make it intentional. And that, by the way, is the secret to making 2018 your best year yet, okay? Keep that intention going and um, uh, you're, you'll be surprised what happens in a week, in a month, in six months. It's amazing. All right. So with that, stop telling yourself the BS stories. Use it to propel yourself and make tomorrow the amazing thing that it can be for you because of what you bring to it. Okay? All right. I will see you here tomorrow. If there are th topics that you'd like me to talk about, again, like I'm inviting that. If there are topics you want me to talk about, please, please uh, let me know and uh, I'll keep this going for you. Uh, <laughs> hey, Doug. All right. So until tomorrow, until tomorrow, uh, I'm wishing you all the best and I will see you here around the same time. Okay. See you here tomorrow. Until then, keep making your magic.